Coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 originally came from bats, theoretically in a wet market from Wuhan, intermediate host like pangolins or snakes, then passed it to humans. 20% of patients have no symptoms. There are some reactivation cases, cases where a patient got COVID-19, got recovered and discharged, but after five to six days started to show COVID-19 symptoms again. Three main ways to get infected, direct droplets, when coughing or sneezing we expel droplets droplets, which are bigger than 5 microns, in form of a rainbow landing from 1 to 2 meters, being able to infect mouth, eyes and nose. Hand contact, by cleaning our face or nose with our hands, or shaking hands, or hugging another person. Indirect droplets, when coughing or sneezing, landing in a surface of contact, like tables, clothes or papers, since virus will survive from few hours to 3 to 5 days. So basically, you can't get infected just by breathing. But there are certain circumstances, aerosol transmission or airborne transmission. When singing or shouting, droplets are launched more than 1 to 2 meters and get dried in the process, coming aerosols, less than 5 microns, lighter and then don't get affected by gravity. In this case, in open places, airborne transmission would be unlikely. To sum up, transmission always through mucose membranes with receptor AC2, like nose, eyes and mouth. Mass KF94 is almost equivalent to N95. There is a very efficient incoming control in airports, so people coming from abroad, they will be under immediate test and held for 24 hours since the result lasts at least 6 hours. If they test positive, they will be carried to a center. If they will test negative, they will be held in self-quarantine at their homes for 14 days with an app in the cell phone which requires to input symptoms twice a day, always geolocalized. When will COVID-19 be finished? SARS in 2002 began in November and ended in July, so at least July. Vaccine for COVID-19 will take at least 18 months. Another alternative is repurposing, which is trying already existing medicines like Caletra for AIDS, chloroquine for malaria, when the severe for Ebola. The last alternative being tried is using plasma from already recovered patients.